Our founder, Sven Lindblad, likes to call Galapagos strange and remarkable. No matter how many times you go there, something new and different is going to happen. Nature is unpredictable, and in Galapagos, it unfolds right before your eyes. The Galapagos Island is a very special destination for Lindblad expeditions. We've been sailing this water since 1967, and we've pioneered expedition travel in this area. Since 2017, Lindblad has been operating National Geographic Endeavor 2, and since 2004, in our beloved National Geographic Islander. Now, we have really exciting news because National Geographic Islander will sail away and be replaced by the new National Geographic Islander 2. I'm Daryl Shaling, Director of Expedition Development at Lindblad Expeditions. My name is Anna Estevez. I'm the Vice President for Hotel Operations. I was so thrilled when Trey Bias, the Chief Expedition Officer, asked if I would go to Croatia to look at what is now the National Geographic Islander 2. Walking aboard the ship, you immediately feel the life of the vessel. When I first saw the National Geographic Islander 2, I was stunned with how elegant and spacious she was. This ship will accommodate 48 guests, and it's been purposely retrofitted for the islands. Recently, in Frederikshavn, Denmark, the ship, which is now formally renamed National Geographic Islander 2, and she's got her new paint colors, was floated again. After just 22 days in dry dock, that means out of the water, the ship is now looking much more like a Lindblad National Geographic vessel. We're also taking the care to make sure that the ship is as fuel efficient as we can make her, that she has operational integrity because Galapagos, even though you can fly there, is still a pretty remote location. One of my guiding missions for this ship is to ensure that the guests feel an authentic connection to these islands. A lot of what Lindblad Expedition really stands for is that connection not only to nature, but to people. On board the National Geographic Islander 2, all of our crew and officers will be Ecuadorian. During the upcoming months, I'm going to be working really diligently, bringing the best from Ecuador and the Galapagos Island on the ship. Our food program is going to celebrate Ecuador. Our textiles and artwork are going to reflect local artisans. We want this ship to feel truly Ecuadorian. National Geographic Islander is really the best of both worlds because she's gracious, she offers space and comfort. She carries just 48 guests, but also she's a real world-class expedition vessel and one that we've enhanced in these past months. And the layout is just spectacular. One thing that people really love about traveling with us is that sense of community. This ship is designed to promote and foster that. One of our key elements of our expedition is the end of day recap. This is usually a time right before dinner where people get together, they talk about their day, and they talk about the next day. On the National Geographic Islander 2, this will happen in the cove. The feeling of the cove is very organic and it's been retrofitted so everybody has direct access to the speaker. I'm very excited about the indoor-outdoor dining options in the patio cafe with floor to ceiling windows. Among the wonderful features of this vessel, and one that I like, is that everybody's in a suite. It's an all-suite vessel. The entire upper deck, the observation deck, is open air. There's even a pool. It has an outdoor theater. There's a bar, there's a sauna, there's the most beautiful gym. For our National Geographic Global Explorers program, for the kids, they'll have spaces where they can do their activities. We're putting in a science and conservation hub in the heart of the ship. Everything that we'll have on board the National Geographic Islander 2 has been carefully chosen. I can't wait for our guests to experience it. It's just a ship that really offers the perfect platform for us to go off and explore fully and get the most out of folks' time in Galapagos.